Holy crap! It's freaking December! Of course! That means freaking Christmas! Lazy Game Reviews! You know, there's really not a lot of Christmas games. I mean, I'm sure they're out there, but I just can't think of any. So you know, go into Google and you search Christmas games, or maybe you get more specific and start thinking Christmas DOS games, and this one will eventually pop up. Sky Roads Xmas Edition, or Xmas Special, or Christmas Special, or you know, some variation of that. I saw some screenshots of it, and I'm like, man, I know I know this game, and yes, I do. It was Sky Roads, the very cult classic-y game by Blue Moon Interactive from 1993. It was one of those games that was just all over the shareware boards and early incarnations of the internet, and was also sold, apparently. And it really brought the Estonia-based Blue Moon Interactive a lot of recognition and success. They then used that success to go on and do other things that you've probably used but weren't aware of, like the Fast Track P2P stack, which pretty much powered Kazaa and Grokster. Skyroads itself was a follow-up to one of their previous games, Cosmonaut, from 1990. Same basic idea, just not as smooth around the edges. So it makes sense that Skyroads was the more remembered and played title. And then in 1994 came this Skyroads Christmas special. It seemed like a lot of companies did this back then, especially shareware publishers. They would put out a Christmas version of their game, which was usually kind of a demo. But this is not just a demo. This is a completely reskinned version of Skyroads, with reworked roads and backgrounds. If you've played Skyroads, this will be extremely familiar. It's just the same game, except it says Christmas Special, and there are some kind of Christmassy themes throughout the levels. Like the original Skyroads, you have ten worlds to choose from with three roads each. But first you'll need to know the controls. Up, down, left, right, space. Okay, I'm ready. The entire point of Skyroads Christmas Special is to not die and get to the end of this very nice looking 3D map. You use the arrow keys to move your star glider and you use space to jump. At the bottom of the screen you have some instrumentation, you have a progress bar on the left, and you have this little meter in the middle which shows your speed, your oxygen, and your fuel. You have to get to the end of the level without using up your fuel or your oxygen, and of course without crashing or falling into oblivion. And this is done by following whatever path you can figure out while hitting or avoiding certain blocks. Some will speed you up, some will make it really slippery, some will just blow you up on contact. And that's really it. It does not get any more involved than that. The whole trick of the game is exact precision and timing. And it's actually not all about controls either. Sometimes you'll hit space and you'll be like, what the crap, nothing happened how I thought it would. And you'll be forced to rethink your existence before attempting it again. I suck at it, so I'm just going to go ahead and show a little bit of footage here from some psycho online who somehow got through the game. And in fact, I think they got through it by way of glitches and cheats and such. But you know what? That's fine. This is one of those games that it's not going to be able to be done overnight. In fact, you'll be lucky to get through the first world. It puzzles me somewhat that it got as popular as it did. I'm sure there's some kind of person out there that can get some enjoyment out of it, but if you're just looking for a casual arcade experience, I would avoid it. Because really, this game is just grueling. The difficulty is amazing, and apparently, the Christmas version is considered by many to be even more difficult than the original. Sometimes the perspective will screw with you a little bit. It just doesn't seem like your star glider is working, but it is. It's just that the game is pure evil. It wants to kill you. This game genuinely seeks your death. It's a Groundhog Day game. It's the same exact thing over and over and over and over and over. It's just about finding that perfect combination of speed, power-ups, the path that you'll need to take, etc. And I guess that's kind of the appeal of the game. Skyroads Christmas Special and Skyroads in general is just one of those games that you might come back to here and there to give it a try, or you'll go insane spending all your life trying to master it. I mean, the graphics are great and the music is friggin' exceptional. This is some of the better music that I've heard come through an FM sound chip, but then you'll soon realize that this game genuinely hates your guts. And as far as I know, even if you beat the game, you get no reward whatsoever. <laughs> it's just like, you're an idiot, goodbye. I have respect for it, it's just not something that I find very fun for very long. So if you're the kind of person that likes to look at something pretty when whipping and cutting yourself while listening to some nice dreamy music, then Sky Roads or Sky Roads Christmas Special is probably the game to check out. Merry Christmas, you masochist!